We wanted to make sure every size wall portrait clients could choose from was displayed in this room so they didn't have to go outside this room to see certain sizes. Hey everyone, I'm Matt, Client Success Manager for White House Custom Color, and we are in beautiful downtown La Crosse, Wisconsin today, outside of Mueller Photography. We're really excited that you're joining us. We're working on a large scale redesign of Adam Mueller Studio. Um, we've been working on it a little bit already, so let's go in and check in and see how the progress is going. Hey Adam. Hey Matt. Looks like you guys are really working away here. We're working, we got uh, we got quite a few portraits uh, rehung, so. Absolutely. So let's talk a little bit about um, the studio to begin with and, and kind of leave the portraits out of it. So tell us about your business, like how long you've been here, yeah. how it breaks down, that type of stuff. Yeah, so I've been uh, been doing this 20 years. I've always been based out of lacrosse. I got married when I was in college and, and when I was in college, I started photography a little bit on the side and kind of worked it up so that when I graduated, this is what I just started doing full time. And I've always had studio space in the downtown area and, and uh, we focus on weddings and families, high school seniors, engagements, um, but been pretty blessed for 20 years to, to keep doing this. Yeah, absolutely. So tell us about the actual space. I mean, you've got an amazing studio yep. here. The studio here is about 5,000 square feet. It's 3,000 square feet up on the upper level here. Okay. Um, but we designed it around an experience for our clients so that they have a comfortable environment to come into. Um, I know we'll be in our presentation room in a little while and, and that's really where we just wanted to make it comfortable for clients to sit down, to be able to see all of the different options, but be able to really, you know, look at all their portraits, be able to pick out what they would like to own. Yeah, absolutely. And one thing that, I, that I'd like to touch on too is like you use this space as a place to meet clients for consultations, for sales, but you really don't do a lot of photography in the studio. You're, you're mostly location-based, correct? Yeah, mostly location photography, outdoor okay. portraits. We do a little bit in the studio, um, some of our personal branding business portraits, okay. a little bit with high school seniors, but the vast majority of everything we do is outdoors. So this whole space that we have designed is really around um, a client experience of being able to view and be able to choose what they want to own for their portraits. Very cool. So let's talk a little bit about the redesign here before we pop into yep. the sales room. So I know that in the past you've been focused on maybe like single large portraits a little bit more. So, so now we're working on large wall groupings um, up to a grouping of 12. So talk to us a little bit about your theory behind that and what you're hoping to change in your business with these wall groupings being shown. Yeah, we, I mean, we've always found, especially with our families, when they've got multiple children, um, we've always done groupings, but we haven't been able to display all the combinations we've wanted to. So we've had to dream with our clients a little bit of how we could group together their favorite portraits, but now we just want it on display so they can touch and feel it, they can see the different finishes and they can see the different combinations. And they'll still see standalone portraits of all the sizes, yep. um, but we just want them to see all their options so that they can it's usually pretty easy when my clients come in, they pretty quickly identify things that they really love. Right. And then they want to incorporate their portraits into that grouping. Cool. I love how you said we dream with our clients. That's really cool. And just looking around, I mean, I see the grouping of four, um, the one in the corner, that's going to be really fun to analyze. We've got some big metals behind us. I know you're working on the acrylics. So let's keep going. We're excited to show the space at the end. And uh, let's go in and talk about your sales room. Sounds great. All right. All right, Adam, so we talked a little bit out front about your sales space. Um, so we are in the, the place where you make the money here now. So let's talk about your original theory about how you designed this room to begin with. Yeah, the original theory was we wanted to make sure every size wall portrait clients could choose from was displayed in this room so they didn't have to go outside this room to see certain sizes. So yep. we have everything from a 40 by 60 all the way down to a 16 by 20. And then we also wanted to incorporate all the different finishes that we offer um, so that everybody can see everything in this room. Got it. So now what we're working on changing today is we're going from a lot of individual single portraits to groupings and expanding your product line, showing larger sizes. So what is your hope for when we get, and I know we're putting a, a massive 12 piece grouping up on this wall. What is it gonna be your hope for when you have people in this room that they're gonna be able to do once they see those large groupings? I think we just want families to visually see what their portraits up on the big TV screen, what those portraits will look like in the certain sizes, wall groupings and clusters in the different finishes. 
we really want them to be able to say, I just love how that looks. And then they pick their finish and we deliver it to their home. So Absolutely. I think we're really focused now on making sure when they've got two or three or four kids in their family that we can have groupings that, you know, you have the family portrait, the kids together, the kids individually, but that they can see different ways to put that into their home. Absolutely. And you cannot sell it unless you show it. Right. You need to display every option because again, people have a little bit of a hard time, a little bit of a disconnect just to dream it up in their head of how they want to display it. So yeah, absolutely. So let's walk around here and talk about um, the space underneath your TV. So obviously you have um, your large big screen that you're selling on. And I know that that was a recent addition and it's, it's awesome, but let's focus on the space below. Yep. So when people are sitting on the couch behind me, that's where your clients are going to be sitting to view their images. Um, talk to us about your original theory about the four images that are underneath the TV here. Yeah, we want a clients uh, to see every size throughout the room. So we have everything from a 40 by 60 and then we wrap all the way down to a 16 by 20. Mm -hmm. So we'll start here um, and we'll work our way up just to show them the different sizes. And so we have 16 by 20 and the uncropped 16 by 24 and we go up to a 20 by 30 and larger portraits then will be on different walls within the room. Got it. So when we get done doing the reinstall and the redesign today, this space changes immensely. And, and I know that there yeah. was theory behind that. So talk to us a little bit about that. Well, the, the theory was we designed this space initially to the way we do our collections for our clients. We start in certain sizes and let them upgrade to other sizes. Okay. So we wanted to show them where they're going to start in the collection and then how to choose the size right for them and what those upgrades are. Okay. And I think we're getting away from that to say, here's what's included to start and here's how you can upgrade to here's what's right. And then from there you can go down or up in size, depending on what might fit best in your home. So we want to design with a purpose here to show them how we would actually showcase portraits in a home versus just what's included to start and how we can upgrade. Absolutely. So you're subliminally telling people this is really what you should purchase. Yeah. And not only that, but we, we yeah. also are going to highlight like our most favorite uh, finishes for our wall portraits up on this wall and include all the others throughout this room. But we want to show them how those finishes, you know, really showcase portraits well. Absolutely. So just give us an example. So the 1620, where is that going to end up in the yep. room after this? So this 16 by 20, um, this size, we will end up displaying on this table on here as a stand up piece. Mm -hmm. um, and the uh, 16 by 24, we'll have in a grouping. So it won't be a, a portrait by itself, a standalone. It'll be a set of three portraits uh, in here. And other than that, there won't be anything that's a standalone piece that's less than a 20 by 30 in size. Awesome. I love it. And since you brought it up about where the 16 by 24s are going to be, what is the subject matter of those 16 by 24s? Yeah. I've always found it important um, to include my family portraits uh, here at the studio so my clients can build a connection with me. A part of photography is we get invited into a family's life. We get to build a relationship with them. But part of it is they just like personally like working with us. And so um, my wife and I have always found it important to display our family portraits here. So the 16 by 24s will have displayed. It'll be um, my three kids individual portraits. Yep. And then we always include a larger family portrait for my family. And we display that behind my work desk where clients can easily see it when they're in this room. Yeah. And I think that that's something that people often overlook. They forget to put their own personal families, their, their images of, you know, what they do for fun, because, um, you know, it's not all about business. It's about relationships and people enjoy that, you know, and knowing you, knowing your family, um, like we do now. So I think that that's awesome that you're doing that. So we're looking forward to getting this room all redesigned. So when we're all done today, we'll come back to a recap and then, uh, we'll move on from there. So stick with us. We'll be back in a little bit. Hey, thanks for checking out episode number one of Miller Photography's Studio Makeover. We hope these sessions inspire you to elevate your game. So if you're interested in more information or your own studio makeover, let us know. We'll set up a one-on-one -on -one consultation for you. In the meantime, you know the deal. Information below. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.